Hi everybody, it is May the 12th and uh, I was watching the news today. My husband had it on. He likes to go flipping back and forth between like Fox and CNN, you know, and watch them battle each other. Um, that's fun enough in like normal campaigning times, but in this day and age with the COVID-19 going on, it's very confusing. And I was just caught by something one of the analysts was saying, you know, it's like, it's obvious that this blah, 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 whatever she was talking about. I'm like, from whose point of view? You know, you would think with something that is medical, scientific, that you could get kind of a, this is what is happening. You might disagree on what should go next, but it's just like, you know, all the evidence from every which way seems to go contrary depending on what side you are with a medical thing. And so I was just like, this is why I don't watch the news. And I pretty much, you know, ignore all the COVID stuff on TV. Cause it's just like, I don't trust any of them. <laughs> and so I have this kind of brewing in the back of my mind when I start um, my Bible verse, I actually was Literally, uh, what I what came to me is like right on the end of what I was uh, where I was at yesterday, uh, Psalm 118. This time five through nine. So all of this is in my head from, you know, who's telling the truth, who is telling a partial truth. I don't know. And so David says, "Out of my distress, I called on the Lord." The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. So I guess I know where I need to put my trust. Not in Fox News, not in CNN. Not in the president, not in that guy who does the doctor guy. I don't even like him. Um, but again, I don't know who to trust. Oh, yes, I do. Trust in God. Don't trust in man. Don't trust in princes. Listen, but put your trust in God and he will take care of you. Whew. Good. That means I don't have to watch news anymore because I don't like it. <laughs> I never thought I'd be happy to think, can we just talk about murder and, you know, like arson and stuff, all of this COVID drives me crazy. Um, but I'm just going to trust in God. It was good enough for, you know, King David. That's where I think I need to uh, remind myself where I need to stay. So whew, God, is, it's funny how he's in my head and I'm thinking, and then he shows up right in the scripture that very day. That's just is really cool. So yeah, I found God in the Psalms again and thank goodness. It's it's amazing the things that he has put forth ahead of me that I just didn't even know that I needed and that he took the time for it. So if you're not looking for God every day, search. He is there.